everybody knows that space flight is risky. It, it just is. Now what we have to do is we have to make sure that we mitigate and eliminate as much of that risk as possible. Columbia Launch Director. Go ahead. So to you and your crew, best of luck on this mission and from the many, many people who put this mission together, good luck and Godspeed. Oh, we appreciate it, Mike. The Lord has blessed us with a beautiful day here. If we are going to put even a single human at risk, we have to be doing something that is monumental and critical for the United States of America and for the world. We're going to have a great mission. We appreciate all the great hard work everybody's put into this, and we're ready to go. If we lose a single astronaut, the entire world stops. Columbia, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Hey, Rick. I uh, guess you've been wondering, but you are go for the deorbit burn. The President of the United States will be informed. His world will stop if we lose an American astronaut. He'll be on TV giving speeches. My fellow Americans, this day has brought terrible news and great sadness to our country. At 9 o'clock this morning, Mission Control in Houston lost contact with our space shuttle Columbia. A short time later, debris was seen falling from the skies above Texas. The Columbia's lost. There are no survivors. So with us we have Mr. Mike Leinbach, and tell us about your career at NASA. I spent 27 years working for NASA here at the Kennedy Space Center. I started out as an engineer in the design engineering department working on launch pad structures and ended up as the, as the shuttle launch director um, many years later. I gave the final go on launch day for all the shuttle launches from the year 2000 to the end of the program. You get to hit the button, right? Is there, there is no big red button, is there? You have a small red button. I saw this one here and I thought, well, maybe this is it. No, that's not it. But, Mass, so. come on, man. That ain't it. A lot of books have been written about Columbia. The, the story that hadn't been told was about the recovery of the debris and the astronauts out in Texas and then the reconstruction of the debris back here at the Kennedy Space Center so we could learn what caused the accident. Good morning, FIRST. This is the Florida FIRST alumni tour of the Kennedy Space Center, and we have taken over FIRST Snapchat. We're going to go all around the Kennedy Space Center, see some really cool things, and you get to join us today. My favorite part of the tour was going inside the assembly building. It was amazing to see a building that was made in the 60s still standing and being ready for the Orion spacecraft and it was just inspiring to just stand where astronauts have stood before. The absolutely awesome scale that you see inside of the VAB, it's just unfathomable. We're out to Texas, we started uh, picking up the pieces literally, it took um, three months to find all the debris, we found our astronauts and returned them to the families for internment. Uh, we brought all the debris back here to the Kennedy Space Center and Mike was in charge of that debris now. Uh, and we studied the debris and figured out what happened to Columbia based solely on the left of the spaceship. Most impressive thing about the Columbia room is that every piece was scattered across like 120 miles of Texas and they somehow pulled it all back together and reorganized the entire thing and figured out what went wrong. We're making a huge push, as you mentioned, for lessons learned. It's critical for us, as you can tell from our discussion, to teach the lessons of what happened. We learned about the history of not only the Columbia, but the plans put in place to keep new generations from repeating the mistakes of old. It was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. We're learning the lessons to make the future more successful, so you're a part of that today. Um, so thank you for being here, and let's go inside and see Columbia. By the inspiration of discovery, and the longing to understand. Our journey into space will go on. Nothing ends here. Our hopes and our journeys continue. I want to add that I wish I could talk to every man and woman who works for NASA or who worked on this mission and tell them your dedication and professionalism have moved and impressed us for decades. And we know of your anguish. We share it. There was a little letter that a fifth grader wrote that was sitting that almost made, that did make me cry about they wrote to the engineers about how it wasn't their fault that they could have they couldn't have fixed it and it just that whole experience was just 
maybe very... I'm trying to think of the biggest disaster that could possibly happen on a robotics team. And for first Lego League, it's really easy. You're at a competition. You have to bring your robot up to the field, and then suddenly you drop the robot. It hits the <laughs> ground. Lego goes scattering everywhere. Yeah. What happens? What do you do? Oh, boy. Uh, well, if, if you're anything like the launch team, I would tell you to... Uh...